Hey, hello everybody, my name's Kevin Brown. It's Saturday night. I'm sitting here in Froome. It's a beautiful evening. And uh, I know that none of you are outside. You're all sitting inside watching snooker. Uh, I'm inside too. Got a nice batch of songs to sing for you tonight. I'm going to start off with a song called uh, The Road and Me. Um, I wrote this with a gentleman called Gary Rudd, who helped me make two records in my life. One was called Home and Dry, the other one was called Home for Christmas. They were instrumental records. Um, during my Hawaiian phase, my lap steel, my Weissenborn phase. And, uh, this is, yeah, been on the road all day. Well, kind of working as well. It's the second gig of the day, this one. The Road and Me. Gotta keep on moving Ducking and diving Keep my head down Do the best I can Don't want religion Don't need salvation I wanna get on my own two hands I gotta dodge those rocks Keep on falling On my road And in my bed Keep the sun Behind me don't want those demons knowing where, where I tread. Well, it's a long winding road where you'll find me with the stars up above. There to guide me, there's a sign on the way. To remind me There's a light Shining down on me Road and me. 
you know, if you do this for a living, hey, thank you, folks. If you do this for a living, you, you, you've got you to gotta learn to be happy on the road because you're going to spend a lot of your life on it. And, you know, when I started off, um, I used to take the B roads because I, I was fascinated with the uh, road furniture, old gas stations, you know, anything I could find. I always had my camera in the passenger seat. And uh, if you go on my website, you'll see lots of interesting photographs that I've taken over the years, especially of my time actually in Clarksdale, Mississippi, where I've been going um, quite often for the last few years. But those days, I think, are over. So I'm so glad I managed to get them in. But don't worry about it. You know, work on your, work on your blood pressure. Keep it level. This song is called High Blood Pressure Blues for all those people who have been there. You know, I used to worry about stuff that would never actually happen. And then I realised what a waste of time that was. And uh, so I think that's where this song came out of. There's a lot of machinery in this room. I think I'm in an alien spaceship. We'll talk about that later. High Blood Pressure Blues. This is on the new album. Recorded in Froome at uh, in Defra, Sebastian Bryce's wonderful studio. Here we go. I get up and go The fastest I move Lord, it's still too slow I got those low down Hard fade High blood pressure Blues We see shoes It won't be bad If anybody local here, oh, thank you. Oh, they're going mad next door. There's all sorts of nonsense going on in here tonight, eh? It's a wonder we haven't been arrested. Stop it. Oh, stop it. Thank you. Yeah, if you're looking for somewhere to record, great studio in Froome, uh, in Defra Studios, Sebastian Bryce. Uh, he's only 28, but he's got the ears of an angel. <laughs> 
he doesn't fly with them, but they, he's good at hearing with them, you know. No, it gets a, Sebastian gets a great sound, and I highly recommend that studio, which is where I did my new album, which came out in November last year. Uh, not that anybody would know because of COVID. But it's the best record I've made. It's called Six Strings and a Dream, and it was written... A lot of it was written in a, in a trailer in... Uh, just south of Clarksdale in Mississippi. Mm. Right there on Highway 49 where they all walked to get up to Clarksdale because a lot of the musicians, a lot of the Delta Blues guys, they flocked to Clarksdale. That was where the money was, especially at weekends, you know, because of the cotton trade and, uh, and the marketing and the distribution of, of, of the cotton. So there was uh, lots of happy people there at weekends. And... Um, there's also the train line right outside my, my shack. So I had, the, I had the railroad line and Highway 49 to, uh, to inspire me. Uh, this song is called Your Train Will Come. For all those people out there that have never won a raffle or never won at bingo, your train really, really will come. Think about it. Focus on it. I've been in E for too long. Can I do it in F? How about down by you? Thank you. 
people come and the people go those winds of change will always blow so don't be sad you're not the only one when you serve your time your train will come and when you Whistle blow, you better be ready, ready to go. When you hear those wheels coming round the bend, you better tell your chains won't happen again. So don't be sad, you're not the only one. When you serve your time, your train, just think about it. Concentrate on it, work on it, and it will come. Come on, Choo Choo. <laughs> uh, hooray, they're going nuts in there. Put that out. Uh, I had a great day today. What have I done? We did two shows today in Alice Park in, in, in Bath. Outdoor gigs in the most beautiful park that was given to the community many, many, many years ago. I love it. You know, there's people there growing things, flying things. There's kids learning how to ride bicycles, learning how to play tennis playing rounders and cricket and football. There's a, there's a big pond. There's a community space that you can hire for £20 for an afternoon. And it's a beautiful timber, timber frame building. Alice Park in Bath. It's where my daughter grew up, really. I taught her. <laughs> she, she wore her first football boots in Alice Park and um, she learned to ride a bike there. I think she might have had her first kiss there as well. But I'm not supposed to know about that. Anyway, where are we? What am I doing? And why am I here? I'm here because I'm about to sing a song off the album, the new album. This was one that was recorded here in, in Defra Studios. It's called Little Grass Shack. Do you know, I love to write songs for people's birthday present. It saves me a lot of money. I'm not from Yorkshire. This one is no exception. My friend Chris Vinton, who's another regular visitor to South Goa, where I've been going for a long time now to save myself those heating bills of January and February. It was Chris's birthday out there on the beach and I presented this to him. Little grass show. See me, my little grass shack. Come see me, my little grass shack. I'll drive you. <laughs> I got a kitchen and one room. See me, my little grass hut. Come see me, my little grass hut. I'll 
drive you home My three-wheel tuk-tuk And say you may Feel the sand rain in your face And say you may Feel the sand So, Chris Vinton, there you go. Thank you so much for inspiring me to write that song. And, uh, you know, maybe that's the last time I'll ever go there again. Isn't it interesting? You know, I don't think I've ever worked so hard as I have during COVID. I did 12 or 13 live streams every Sunday, and, you know, the preparation for that would start on, on Thursday or Friday. People think that you just sit down and do it, you know, but it we, doesn't matter where you are on the ladder, you've still got to keep working and, and, and try and get to that next rung, you know. And uh, the gigs are starting to come in now. It's really great doing open-air gigs. People are opening up, up their gardens and um, we've, we've been creating some really interesting... I don't know which... There's so many cameras in here. Maybe I'm better off looking at the floor. And, uh, yeah, so I've done Alice Park this afternoon. Pipley born tomorrow. Preston. When's Preston? 22nd. Oh no, yeah. Queen's Head in Box on the 16th. Outside in the car park. It's great being a Roots musician because you can get to do these gigs because that's what you're used to doing. Because, <laughs> you know, we spend our lives doing these kind of small gigs so it's like... Well, what's changed? I, I wonder what these arena artists are going to do and stadium acts. Uh, maybe they can play in a garden to 40 people. Maybe they're going to have to. And wouldn't that be great for the local communities? So it all comes back down to, you know, down back, all comes back home. I got married in our local church there, at St Saviour's in Lark Hall. A wonderful Welsh woman who's a great soccer player. She used to play for uh, for Bath City, and I had a wonderful time watching her. Um, on a Sunday morning, our little family car was full of football boots, you know, and footballs and nets and stuff. 
And then uh, Jess, our daughter, took up the sport. She played, um, no, my, uh, Louise, my ex-wife, she played for Froome Town. Used to come here every Sunday. That was good fun. And uh, my daughter played for Chippenham. And I played for nobody. <laughs> I did referee, though. I used to referee the games. That was a laugh. Proper woman. You know, you open the front door and you can't move for football boots. You know, this is this is how a family should be. That's what this is yeah. This <laughs> Good on her. Bless her. Wedding ring blues. Forget about I found my wedding ring today, babe. I held it in my that ring and I held it high took that ring and I held it high and I let the wind blow your memory let the wind blow your memory goodbye I found my old wedding ring today and I held it in my Yes, they're going mad next door. 
Wedding Ring Blues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I haven't recorded that one. Well, I have, I tried. But, uh... It's funny, isn't it? Marriage, funny. I'll come to that. You know, I was raised in Preston, Lancashire, which I hear has made the headlines these last few days. Hope they sort that out. And um, I'm a very proud Lancashire man. I watched Tom Finney as a kid on sitting, up, sitting on my, my dad's shoulders. Cried many a tear behind uh, Fred Elsie's goal, I tell you. When those uh, balls went in, he was our goalkeeper. God, it hurt, like, really hurt. And every Easter, we used to go to the marketplace because the fairground used to come. No, it was Whitsuntide, that's right. And I used to I used to see the wall of death there. And it blew my mind, you know. And recently, we used to get Carter's uh, steam fair coming to Bath. And uh, they had a wall of death. It was a family from Brighton, the Mesham family. And the Mesham family had their own wall of death and they brought the Indian bikes over. Their grandparents uh, began um, this, this sideshow in the 1920s on original, uh, on the uh, police motorcycles uh, that they imported. And they still have them there. And I went to see them at quarters uh, at, uh, at the steam fair in Bath. And um, I'd met them recently and they remembered me and they invited, they invited me to... Uh, to open their show for them. So I would sit and play for 20 minutes outside and gather a small crowd and then the fancy drivers, uh, fancy riders would do their tricks on the, on the, uh, on the bikes, on the rollers outside. Uh, and then people would come in and watch the show. Great bunch of people. It was a great honour to, uh, to open the show for them. And I wrote this on, uh, you know, as a memory. This is called Living on the Wall of Death. Couldn't you imagine? I'll tell you. Times 
like this, you gotta be careful what you say. Well, it's times like this, you gotta be careful what you say. You know the truth, gonna catch you up someday. I don't, what are you up to next door? Are you misbehaving? Yeah. Eh? Cool. So I'm in Froome. And uh, I don't know if you've been to Froome. It's where... It's, it's like the make-believe land. It's where people come to try and break the world land speed record um, on anything they can get their hands on, really. And it's up to you to try and dodge them, you know, as you cross the road. That's my experience of Froome. <laughs> Talk to me. Froome's a great place. Lots of creative people here that... Uh, I have a lot of friends here. Here's a song of my first album. in Bristol Talk to me babe Tell me how you feel A lot of reverb on there How do you carry on with another man at the wheel Talk to me babe Tell me how you feel Hard to carry on with another man at the wheel. Talk to me, babe. Tell me how you feel. It's hard to carry on with another man driving the wheel. Talk to me, babe. Don't call out his name I don't want another man that Causing all the pain <laughs> Talk to me, baby Don't call out his name I don't want another man It's causing all the pain Talk to me, babe. Don't call out his name. I don't want to know the man. Cause no.
Won't you talk to me, babe? We can work it out. We don't have to fight for Sanchez. Won't you talk to me, babe? We can work it out. We don't have to fight. Fuss and shout Won't you talk to me, babe? We can work it out We don't have to fight Fuss and shout Talking's good, you know Gotta talk Gotta connect Won't you talk to me, babe? We can work it out. We don't have to fight. First hand shot. Talking. Hooray. Talking's good. Any Joe Rogan fans out there? He's had some cool guests on recently. Joe Rogan's one of my favourite podcasters. He gets like millions of viewers, you know. Uh, that goes in there. Is this what we're doing now? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Joe Rogan podcast series is where I discovered a man called Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar um, was employed to try and figure out, he was trying to see if he could re re reverse engineer the propulsion system on a captured uh, UFO uh, in, in Area 51. And uh, he recently came out with his stories... And they are incredible. If you listen to that man talking about what he did to try and find out how these things propel themselves, and he's, he's undergone so many lie tests and so many sort of body language things, and, and Joe Rogan finally had him on his show, and it's just the best podcast. If ever you want to hear about, you know, how a scientist spent his years working on this spacecraft, that's the one to get. Bob Lazar, Joe Rogan. That's the wrong chord to play on this guitar, okay? I love writing songs about my heroes. I really do. It's like, you know, it's, it's paying respects. It's, it's kind of just saying, man, thank you so much for all this warmth and love and, and everything else that you've given to me over all these years. So many artists have done that to me. And help me get through so many difficult periods, one of whom was a man called J.J. Cale. And in return, I, I wrote this song for him. And I was so thrilled to hear that his, his widow, Christine Lakeland, had, had somehow, I don't know how, managed to hear it. And she managed to get a message through to me to say how much she enjoyed it. Which was, well, you can imagine how I felt, can't you? That was so cool. So this is the ballad of J.J. Kale. This is on an album called Grit, produced by the great Neville Farmer. Again, that album was recorded not far from here. Um, there's something in the air here in Froome. And there's a great electric cargo bike company here as well. Tom, I hope you're listening, man. Ballad of JJ Kale. Let me let me do it in E. I think I will. Uh, no, it's in tune there. Let's do it there. Thank you. 
gonna take me for granted. I can tell by the look in your eye. You got so much soul. You got something. It takes a man a lifetime. We like it, Mr. J. J. K. When you rock and roll, we like it, Mr. J. 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 K. When you hit new albums great that they're bringing out records i've got a couple more songs to do here the first one is a brand new one i've never sung this over any kind of airwaves in my life but uh... it's a true story about my mum this she used to tell me this story many years after my dad died he died of lung cancer <clears throat> he got lung cancer because my dad was in the navy and he, he didn't drink, I, you know. I think that's where I got my, maybe, I haven't drunk for 12 years. It's, a, it's hilarious. You want to try it, man, it's awesome. And uh, he didn't drink at all. So when he was in the Navy, he used to swap his rum ration for other guys like fags. So he smoked himself to death, basically, on a, on a naval destroyer crossing the North Atlantic. Uh, and he survived for a few years after the war. He died when I was 25 years old. But it was an amazing story about my mum. Um, my mum lived in Blackpool with her mum and my mum's sister. But sadly, my mum's dad was an alcoholic. Interesting, isn't it? My dad didn't drink and my mum's dad was an alcoholic. And uh, life was very difficult for my mum at home as a teenager. And they decided to, to leave home. And they, they caught the last train out of Blackpool one night the three of them, two sisters and, and mum. And they got off the first station they came to, which was Preston, and they took a room in a bed and breakfast opposite Preston Railway Station. And the next morning, a man came and cleaned the windows and saw my mum. She was only 16 or 17 at the time. Anyway, uh, he started dating her, and that was my dad. And uh, so, you know, if it wasn't for that train... And it wasn't for my alcoholic great-granddad. 
I wouldn't be here. And this is a this is I managed to sort of wrap that into a song. It's called Cruel Winds. Just before my mum left Blackpool, she used to love dancing at the Winter Gardens at Tower Ballroom every Friday night. And she met a soldier who was home on leave. And uh, they fell in love. But a little incident occurred which uh, meant that they were never going to see each other again. And mum met the window cleaner and here I am. You know, so. <laughs> so wish me luck on this. He wrote her address down They made future plans But as the train pulled away The cruel gust of wind Blew their love From his hand Was a cruel wind, cruel gust of wind that blew their love away. Was a cruel wind, a cruel gust of. Stop 
that blue on that day. Hey, listen, thanks so much for hanging in, hanging, hanging in there with me tonight. And uh, Mum's in a home in uh, Brunel House at the moment in Box. I'm so lucky to, to have her close to me. She's only f 10 minutes from where I live. Although I haven't seen her for months, you know, apart from on some, some video calls that we're managing to do now. So there you go, Mum, finally did it. So I'm going to leave you all with a song, kind of sums me up, called Rambling Man. And uh, have a look at my website. It's good. I spent hours. I, I really like, I love visuals, you know, and I, um, I've been to a lot of places. I've met some amazing people in my life, and they've all influenced my songs and just been a, an influence on me in general, really, about the way I think and, you know, the things I like to get involved in and, and so forth. And this is probably one of the most exciting times in my life. Uh, things are good. Uh, COVID, I'm finding this this whole thing uh, weird and wonderful, and uh, you know, you know. Let's uh, let's see how it all pans out, shall we? And let's hope my little garden gigs improve and grow and prosper. Website is uh, Kevin Brown sings. Uh, most of my records are on there. It's fourteen of them all together, and. Uh, if you if you live locally and you'd like to come and see the band next Sunday at the Queen's Head in Box, um, that's the 16th of August. Maybe we can figure out how to... Uh, you can go to my website, actually. The booking uh, details are all on there. We've got ten tables, four people per table. So that's 40, 50 people a gig. Still some seats left. That's the 16th of August. August, there's a show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 7.30 at night, okay? My website is Kevin Brown Sings. The new album is Six Strings in a Dream, which I'm really, really proud of. And you've been hearing a lot of it tonight, and I've got to finish with Rambling Man, which is dedicated to my dad, who was a bit of a rambler. Bless him. Right. I was a rambling man Had a dream last night I was a rambling man Well, I gave it all away
folks thank you so much for tuning in thank you everybody thank you over there and thank you over there stop doing that (laughs) 